This is an augmented reality simulation, which uses augmented reality markers to track where particular objects are in the real world, using the camera on your head-mounted device. Each of the marker stands used throughout the simulation have a unique AR marker attached to them, which corresponds to the particular device depicted on its face. Let's quickly examine the virtual components of each marker, and go through each device type, briefly discussing their role within the construction of a network. Pick up one of the markers labelled Wired Device and place it in front of you so that the marker can be clearly seen by your device. You can now see a virtual representation of the device the marker corresponds to, along with its name and current IP address. A plane representing the 5 layer TCP IP model can also be seen in front of the device. This is used to display which layers the packets move throughout as they traverse the network. A diagram of the TCP IP model can be displayed by clicking the information button at the bottom of the screen at any time. The orange radius beneath the device represents the attenuation of signal and the range at which it can interact with other devices within the simulation. The current device being displayed is a wired device such as a computer. This is an end device which interprets packets on layer 5, the application layer of the TCP IP model. A hardwired device can connect to a router and a switch. Remove this marker and place one of the wireless device markers in front of the camera. A wireless device, such as a mobile phone, is the other end device used in the simulation. It also interprets packets on layer 5 of the TCP IP model. This device can only connect to a wireless access point. Remove this marker and place a wireless access point in front of the camera. A wireless access point transfers the data being sent over a physical connection into a wireless signal, allowing for the connection of wireless devices. It interprets packets on layer 2, the data link layer, of the TCP IP model. A wireless access point can connect to a router and a switch. Remove this marker and place a switch in front of the camera. This device allows for a single connection entering to be accessed by and directed between several other devices. Any devices connected to a switch will also assume the same network as it. The switch also interprets packets on layer 2 of the TCP IP model. This device can connect to another switch or a router. Remove this marker and place a router in front of the camera. The router allows for a single connection entering to be sent to several other devices and splits the networks they are each assigned into separate local area networks. Routers can also be used to connect existing local area networks to the wide area network and internet. A router interprets packets on layer 3, the network layer, of the TCP IP model. A router can connect to another router and the cloud. Finally, remove this marker and present the cloud. The cloud marker represents the vast number of servers that make up the internet. For the purpose of this simulation, only a router can connect to the cloud. The cloud also interprets packets on layer 3 of the TCP IP model. We will now go through the process of constructing a network and how to interact with its various elements. Remove all markers from view. Throughout this simulation, there will be times when you will have several markers spread at quite a distance to one another. There is a particular method to scanning these markers and the environment around them, so that they all stay positioned correctly when you move or turn away from them. For optimal marker pickup, the marker must be within 60 centimeters of your device's camera. When scanning markers, slowly move your device toward them until they are picked up and stable, then slowly move your device away to scan the rest of the area around them. Following this process will allow you to walk around and over the markers if you wish. Place a wired device and switch together in front of the camera so that their attenuation radii are within each other. You will notice a white line has been created between them to indicate a connection has been established. Each line has a specific colour which indicates the local area network the connection belongs to. If a line's colour is white, that indicates that there has not been a local area network established through the use of a router, indicating those are devices currently have static IP addresses. Add another wired device to the switch. 
As you can see, another static IP address has been created. Within the simulation, you can simulate packet flow directly between two end devices. Blue packets are now flowing back and forth between the two selected devices, traversing the constructed network between them. You can also see the packets moving throughout the layers of the TCP IP model on each of the devices. Each packet flowing around the network has a source and destination IP address assigned to it within its packet information. To inspect this information, pause the simulation and tap a packet on the screen. For the purpose of this simulation, other packet information has been omitted. Tap anywhere on screen to hide this information, then unpause the simulation to continue. Deselect both of the hardwired devices and add a router onto the switch. You will notice a change in IP addresses, as well as connection colors, to indicate dynamic IP address assignment. Add another hardwired computer onto the router. As you can see, different colored lines and networks have been created. This can also be seen in the wired device's IP addresses. Add the cloud into the simulation, connecting it to the router. This now enables your existing network to access, and in turn be accessed by, other networks around the world, through the use of the infrastructure contained within the cloud. You can also see that packets have automatically begun to flood back and forth between each connected end device and the cloud. This is to simulate the continuous series of connections and handshakes that occur within and between the local and wide area networks. Add a second router into the simulation and connect it to the other side of the cloud. You now have two completely separate networks, connected via the cloud. Lastly, attach a wireless access point and wireless device onto the router. The completed network in front of you is an example of two wired devices in the same building, communicating not only with each other, but also with a wireless device that could be on the other side of the world. You should now understand how to use this augmented reality simulation and will be taken into the main simulation sandbox shortly.